So welcome back to the channel of One Triple M here. Today's video, I want to show you how to unlock your Amazon Fire TV stick in 2024. When I say unlock, I'm talking about sideloading applications, jailbreaking, whatever you want to call it, allows you to install applications that is not found or cannot be found in your Amazon App Store. So this video shouldn't be too long. This is the quickest method. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so step number one, first thing you want to do once you have your Fire TV stick set up, you want to go to your app store. You want to search for the download application. So a um, couple ways to do this. You can type it or you can use the voice function on your remote. Let's go ahead and try the voice function. Downloader. So there's the downloader icon. And once you see the downloader application, go ahead and install it. Step number two, you need to go into your Fire TV stick settings and you need to make sure apps from unknown sources is enabled for downloader. So this is basically is going to let your Fire TV stick know that, hey, downloader is a trusted app and I want it to allow it to install apps that I request. So to do that, you're going to go all the way to the right. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to my Fire TV. Now, if this is your first time doing this, developer options will not be there. All you'll see is about, then it'll go to legal compliance, sleep, restart. So you won't see developer options if this is your first time doing this. So what you wanna do is click on about, and it should highlight the type of Fire TV stick you have. In this case, this is the 4K Max. And what you wanna do is just tap on the OK button or the center button seven times. Now, again, seven times, you should see it start counting down. You got three more steps to unlock. Um, once you're done, it's, it's gonna tell you that you are now a developer. Now, once you see that at the bottom that you're now a developer, you're gonna go back, and now you should see developer options. Click on that. And you're going to go down to install unknown apps. Click on that. All right. So now you should see that downloader is in this area. It will be off by default. You're going to go ahead and click on it, turn it on. And we're going to go ahead and back out again. Third thing you want to do, and this is the third and final step, I guess, is launch downloader. Now, for you guys that are new, downloader is basically a web browser. allows you to do certain things, but one of the... the key features of this is that it allows you to install third-party applications to your Fire TV stick and the process is pretty straightforward. So, so this is the home area guys. You'll see that uh, it, in this area is going to ask you to either put in a URL or you can search for whatever you're looking for um, in this area. So just click on that and let's say I wanted to install mouse toggle to my Fire TV stick. All I need to do is click the voice assistant button on the remote and search for what I want. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Mouse toggle APK. All right, pop right up. We're going to click go. So mouse toggle again, it's an app that allows you to essentially uh, use the air mouse on your Fire TV stick. Pretty cool application. Um, but uh, once you search for it, you'll see a ton of different websites that you can go to, to to install this. Again, whatever website you prefer, up to you, but you can see we have a ton. So let me just click on Mouse Toggle APK for Fire TV Stick. I'll click on that. And again, whatever website is your favorite, whatever website you trust, that's the one you use. All right, I'm going to download the APK. All right, so start connecting. See the download there is 1.7 megabytes. We're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, we're gonna hit done. And last step, very important, you wanna go ahead and delete that APK. APK is no longer needed once you have the app installed. That's just the installer file. So go ahead and delete it. That will save you a lot of space in the long run. All right. So mouse toggle is now installed. I can go to my apps and you can see the application is installed and it's ready to go. So again, if you're not doing all the explaining like I'm doing right here, this process probably takes three minutes or so. If that uh, three basic steps, install downloader, 
allow downloader to install third-party applications and go to downloader and then you can go ahead and search whatever apk you try to install so hopefully this video is helpful in 2024 again if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one